Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the resource sheet in Microsoft uh, Project. And resource is basically um, uh, the people, it could be any kind of resources that are involved in a project which are making that project possible. So, um, possible to complete, right? So, uh, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to explore the options, how we can uh, do the resource, set up a resource sheet. And um, there are two ways to, uh, to go to the resource sheet from here. So right now you are in the main project schedule. And if you go to Gantt chart under task, you go to Gantt chart and you are going to select resource sheet from here. Another way to do that is you are going to select it from the lower right hand side corner um, at the bottom and you are going to see this icon which says resource sheet. So you can click on that. But before we dig more into it, how do I, uh, we are going to see how we can identify the resources. So I go back to my uh, main uh, work schedule and I see that what kind of resources I have here. We have HR, um, which is kind of an umbrella with, uh, on above everything. But inside that, uh, uh, under that umbrella, we have the hiring firm. And then, uh, which means, so uh, now you have to think more logically uh, that um, if it is a hiring firm, what kind of resource are we going to have? Most probably recruiters, right? So that is one thing. And then uh, complete the documentation. Maybe you will need um, a person who is going to work on the documentation. Um, and you can just name it, uh, you know, writer or um, if it is technical documentation it's in that case it's not but it could be technical writer or any person that uh, who's going to maybe office manager uh, you can do um, select that you can um, select that um, option for that uh, complete docu documents and then for conduct meetings it could be staff that is working for the organization so as we have identified the resources, again, uh, think of it in a way that it's really, uh, it really depends on your project, how you are identifying the resources. Um, the resources that I'm identifying right now based on this data uh, may be different for different firms because uh, we are doing one thing over here, maybe the same tasks and um, are used in different firm, but they are doing a completely different type of project or work. So, and this is just an example. So I'm just uh, going to go to resource sheet now. And our first resource is recruiter. And then second resource we have is office manager. And third resource is staff. So um, as you can see that as I define all these resource themes, it's automatically going to select the type of the resource which is work. We can always change it to cost or material if needed. Uh, right now, these are the work resources. And um, but if you are um, adding some kind of material like you know uh, papers or stationery or something like that, then you are going to uh, select materials. And if you are looking for cost, we are going to see the cost view in a second. So right now it is all set to work. It um, defined initials on its own. Um, we are we can group the items here. We don't have to. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. Max is hundred percent. You can change the percentage based on your project. And um, another thing that we are going to do is we are going to uh, assign the hourly rate. For example, for recruiter we say that they get uh, fifty an hour and then office manager also gets 50 an hour so you can change the numbers in any way you want uh, and also based on your project then it's going to be more realistic numbers so i'm going to say 50. Um, and then you have the over um, overhead we don't have any over here you can always add it if needed and then the cost is for example the cost uh, 
of hiring these uh, resources uh, for recruiters you can i'm just giving the example you can say five thousand over here you can say six thousand and over here you can say seven thousand and it already selected pro um, rated and then standard so you can uh, change all these options based on uh, what uh, is the requirement whatever the requirement of the of your project so once you do that we are going to save that and then we are going to go back to the first sheet over here so over here you have uh, different columns and one of them is resource name right so what you can do is you can uh, select resources for each task and for example you go here and you say you know what uh, for a higher firm uh, we need a recruiter so you selected recruiter over here and then for all this um, these items you need a recruiter so then you go here and then you say for this particular task you need an office manager and then you can uh, take your cursor to the lower right hand side corner drag it and that's all office managers now similarly you are going to select staff over here and then drag it down and it's going to be staff so now you have all your resources defined over here which are back in the resources sheet right uh, one thing i do want to mention that when it's uh, this uh, it's now it's indicating that uh, you have um you are using the recruiter for all these tasks but you do not have enough resources so maybe we can say that uh, you know what um, 100 percent is for one person so we can say 200 we have two resources for um for recruiting tasks so now it is 200 percent and now it's not red anymore so we are not lacking any resources over here so now we are going to go back and we can see that uh, we have this resource column over here and all the resources are defined that's it for today i hope that helped and i will see you in the next video